Hi friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to another Wild Card Wednesday video on my YouTube channel and blog. For today's project, I am featuring the stamp set and dies called Dainty Delight and the deckled rectangle dies. I have the second, third and fourth out and I am die cutting basic white, lemon lime twist and basic white again. I'm layering the, the sentiment or the focal piece. I am using some designer series paper called Masterfully Made and I just wanted just to celebrate and kick off the DSP sale that's going on for the month of June. You get select designer series papers for, um, what is it, 15% off. So I have to do a shout out here to one of my teammates. Um, or a girl on my team. Her name is Gabby and she sent me a card similar to this using designer series paper and I thought what a wonderful way of featuring uh, designer series paper on your card. So we are going to go into some numbers here after I ink up my red rubber stamp with uh, stays on ink and I chose this ink because I'm going to get a beautiful uh, impression or stamped image of this sentiment. It's going to be crisp and clean everything you want in a black ink. Uh, I don't use black ink with, um, or sorry, I don't use stays on ink with photopolymer, but red rubber, it's beautiful. All right, so I put um, dimensional adhesive on that lemon lime twist and the white and lemon lime twist, I just uh, put seal plus, my favorite adhesive. All right, so this is 11 and a quarter inches long and four inches um, tall. I scored it at two and three quarters and eight. And then I have an inside piece that is five inches long and three and three quarter inches tall. I'm folding my DSP now, just finger folding, not with a bone folder yet. And I'm going to put the insert in. I'm making sure that the small uh, flap is on the left. So I've adhered that inside piece. Now I'm going to uh, adhere the extra little three quarter inch flap. You could fold it. I just didn't want to do it that way because there was a lot of extra folding. <laughs> so I didn't want to confuse myself. So I just cut the three inches off and then I ended up um, gluing it back on. It just was a little bit more secure. I don't know. I just did it that way. <laughs> I have to be difficult. So anyway, that is a five and a half by four and a quarter lemon lime twist card. So it does have a nice base. And now I'm going to adhere the focal piece just with seal plus on one side. I'm going to leave room for some flowers. So I'm just edging it just a little bit to the right. It's not completely in the center. All right. So these are some of the dainty delight, uh, uh, dies so they don't necessarily match any flowers that you can stamp but they're pretty fantastic on their own I'm just using a glue dot and adhering this is fresh freesia and garden green I believe for the stem I'm and I don't know what these flowers are called someone in the comments go ahead and put the <laughs> put it put it down was it foxglove I don't know <laughs> just pre let's just pretend they're you know the flowers from my um, imaginary garden where the unicorn <laughs> grazes <laughs> and the elves have you know a nice life <laughs> um, this is berry burst and also garden green or this is old olive what am I talking about I love the old olive old olive is great um, okay so and I'm just adhering those flowers to the card uh, I tried to you know edit out all the boring pieces but yeah so gluing stuff and adhering it and putting it placing it so that it's appealing to what I like this tail was a little long I end up cutting it off and then I use some white baker's twine for the um to for this little bouquet and I'll be honest, that stupid white trim, the white twine twisted on me. I'm still messing with it at days after I made this card. So, <laughs> erg. 
<laughs> That's all I have to say. Um, what else do I want to tell you? There's a joining offer going on right now for Stampin' Up! So if you ever thought about being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in Canada and you want to have a fun growing team, I would love to have you on my team. I'll put uh, the link in that uh, in the description box below. If you're thinking about it, there's a you're going to get something like $94 free of stuff you don't have to pay shipping and yeah this is great okay so this is fresh freesia and berry burst and that's another flower from the dainty delight i'm sticking it on my front of the card and then the remaining bits i'm going to put on the inside the this is a glossy dots assortment uh, dot and i use the berry burst color i think it thought it looked good and yeah, so I also want to invite you guys to the In Color Club I have on my blog. I'll put the link in that description too that's giving you all the in colors every month for five months and there's you don't have to have a specific join update. You can just join whenever you want. And it's a way of getting all the things because I have full set syndrome too. So I created this just for those folks. <laughs> all right, you guys, you can see all the supplies I used today listed below in the video see more section or in the supplies section of my blog. And those flash links are going to take you to my Canadian online store where I would love the chance to meet you and earn your business. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.